The logical thinking process is a set of integrated logic trees based on deductive logic that is intended to start with an undefined or poorly defined system problem and lead people eventually to an effective, fully implemented solution. There are five logic trees, each with a specific function, and they lead naturally from one to the next. The first is a goal tree. This helps people define specifically what they want their system to achieve and the critical success factors needed to do that. It also identifies all of the individual tasks required to realize the critical success factors in the goal. So the goal tree constitutes the hallmark of acceptability for all of the other trees that follow. It really is the most important step in the logical thinking process. The second step in the logical thinking process is the current reality tree. This is essentially a cause and effect diagram that presents a snapshot of what's happening now. Specifically, it shows in what ways the system is failing to meet the expectations set forth in the goal tree, and it traces the cause and effect of those failings back to the critical root causes. In other words, it answers the question, why is our system failing to meet our expectations? Once the critical root causes of the system's failings are identified, and there are usually very few of these, we're in a position to decide whether we'll encounter any resistance in changing the status quo. If so, we proceed to conflict resolution using a tree called an evaporating cloud. <clears throat> this enables us to resolve resistance in a way that constitutes a win for both sides. The output of this step is an idea for a solution or solutions to the critical root causes of the system's failings, but it is only an idea. It doesn't become a solution until it has been verified effective, meaning that we can demonstrate logically that it will work and it's been bulletproofed against creating any new unanticipated adverse consequences. The next step in the logical thinking process, the future reality tree, is intended to do just that. It shows in detail how our brilliant idea will play out if we try to implement it. The best part is that we can test our idea logically in a kind of tabletop exercise before we risk spending uh, time and resources on an idea that might have a low chance of success. Once the idea is verified as a workable solution with a future reality tree, we proceed to the final step, execution planning. In other words, what has to happen and in what order to put our solution into effect as soon as possible? The tool that we use for this is called a prerequisite tree. So there you have it, five steps from a poorly defined problem to implementation of a solution in which you can have a high degree of confidence because the problem solution is logically verified every step of the way. Boiled down to its essence, the logical thinking process answers the four key questions any system leader needs to know. What results specifically do I expect my system to produce? Why is it not producing those results and specifically what do I need to change? What should I change to? and how do I execute the change as efficiently as possible.